for your getting set to start this boxing, kickboxing, cardio session. We're going to be on a timer here in a second. It's going to be the seven second workout. How fucking hard could it be? Seven second workout. You're not going to do anything this entire workout for more than seven seconds at a time. That's some easy stuff. Simple stuff right there. So before we get started on the actual timer, we're just going to go through the basics, go through a refresher course for, with your punches so that no matter, no matter how much experience you have, you can never get enough practice with your punches. And we're going to actually get on the clock and get started with the actual circuits and the routine. So let's start in, if you're get, get warmed up with your stance. So if you're right-handed, your left leg is going to be forward and your right leg is going to be back. Your hands going to be up, your elbows tucked into your ribs, your chin is tucked, your hands are up by your cheekbones. When they say hands to your chin, that doesn't mean here. Your face is going to be freaking exposed. So let's just get loosened up, hands up your cheekbones, light on your feet, balancing your step. Let's just start with a one and a two, straight left, straight right. You're just in the air. Even if you have a bag, you see we have two bags here. And I have a third punching bag here. Huh, huh. We're gonna start off in the air just to practice with some shadow boxing. Start starting off with a one, two, your left, right, right down the middle. Light, breathe, and flow. One, two, straight left, straight right. When I throw that right hand, Back up so the face where people can see your hip is turning, pivoting that right foot, turning into it. So right down the middle, one, two. Whatever hand's not punching, you see staying up at home, protecting your face. If you got an ugly, ugly mug bite like me, you can't afford to take any more damage. So that freaking suck. Right down the middle, one, two. One, two. Let's loosen up the hips with some kicks, just one kicks. Bend and extend. We're gonna switch with our back leg. So left leg, then step and switch. Make your right leg your back leg. Boom. Step, switch. Bam. Step, switch. We're just kicking with the back leg. Just loosen up the hips and the hamstrings. This is our second workout of the day. Second workout in a row. We just finished a project cardio boot camp workout right before this. Total body cardio conditioning core endurance workout. And now we're here. Boom. For boxing, get that knee up there, bend and extend. Bam. Shh. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Hands up, boom. Let's go back to the punches. We're gonna go with our hooks, our left hook and our right hooks. Your elbow's gonna be bent 90 degrees, moving parallel to the floor. Come here, see. Check your Instagram on Tuesday on there. Three, four, left hook, right hook. You're just in the air. Shh, shh. So just getting warmed up. Left hook, right hook. Three, four, and reset. Shh, shh. Hands up, boom. Boom. You're whipping the hips to throw these punches. Pivoting that foot. The side you're punching on, that foot's going to pivot. Bam, bam. Hands up. A little bounce in your step, a little rhythm. Show off that flow, that rhythm. If I could find some rhythm in these, this, these white, uncoordinated bones, you could figure it out. Boom, boom. Left hook, right hook. Three, four. Three is the left hook. Four is your right hook. And reset. Bam, bam. Right there. Elbows up and out. Dig it, dig it. Hands up. Bam. Boom, boom. Pump, 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 pump. Right there it is. Let's go to knees now. You're going to go right knee for two and switch. Left knee for two. For double pump it. Two on the right. Switch. Boom. Boom. Two on the left. Keep it flowing. Keep it rolling. Just getting moving. Just getting warmed up. Let's go. Will you stop for this? Because I'm checking out the messages in, in, this, in comments. Boom. Two rights like you need to check too. Nice try. Act like you're looking, squinting over there. You're not even looking at it. Boom, boom. I know that trick. Right knee for two. Left knee for two. Keep it rolling. Pump it. Think about taking the back of the head of your target and boom, driving it right into the knee. Put your knee back of the head. Right here. See, right? That's the front. That's the front. That's the front. No, because you're I'm holding the back of your head. So I'm bam, knee in the face. Let's go. Two right, switch, two left, bam, switch, two right, crunch it, drive at the hips. Boom, boom, and two left. Let's go to uppercuts. Five and six. Five is your left uppercut, six is your right uppercut. So just shovel those together. Just let them flow. Left, right, five, six, and reset. Crunch it, get that abs into it, the waist into it. Five, six, dig it, dig it, dig it. Boom, boom. Right there, hands up, bam, bam. Crunch it. 
Boom, boom, dig it, dig it, dig it, working it. We're working it, bam, bam. Keep an eye on things you can see that you're on off. So you're right back there, so you're right here. I'll be right here, do that. Five, six, hands up, bam, bam, crunch it, crunch it, crunch it. See how in between, you see my body's moving, head is moving, I'm off center, all over the place. All over the place, bouncing around like a crackhead, bam, bam. That's how you should be, energy, energy, flowing, rhythm, boom, forward, backwards. Circling, pivoting, punching the suckers around you. I think you're trying to pay back. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, boy. I know you're gonna wait. When I'm not even looking, I probably paying attention, you'll catch you right in the gut when I'm not ready for it. Like, and you know when you get hit there, you lose your breath. And I'll try to play it off because we're live on camera and we're really having to drop to the floor probably. Getting knocked out by a ten year old, imagine that. Oh, that's what happened then. Hands up. Today. Five, six, boom, boom. All right. Shake those arms out. Stretch those shoulders. Fling it open. Stretch the shoulder. Fling the chest open and stretch. Fling it. And bring it, boy. I will F you up. I will F you up. You want to just go fuck the... Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Forget the class. <laughs> we'll just fight to the death. I don't care. Fling the chest open. Stretch the shoulder. Fling it. Stretch shoulder. Boom. And stretch. Fling. And stretch. Right there. Wide stance. You gotta get those hand, hips and hamstrings warmed up. I'm gonna back up here with the face boogers. Face boogers. Wide stance. You're gonna stretch in the middle. Hold for a couple seconds and reach up. Stretch overhead. Then bring both hands to the right leg. Stretch for a couple seconds and pump that chest open. Back to the middle and reach overhead. Left. You need no scoops more, right? Huh? You need no scoops more, right? Yep. Open it up. I don't know why though. Middle. Stretch up. Right, stretch out, middle, up, left, out, hell yeah, middle, up, your own rhythm, right, out, done, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, let's stretch those quads out, all saying, you're going to go quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug, rotate all four of those on your own, hold it for however long, you, however long you need to hold, you need to hold for one second, two seconds, three seconds, five seconds, whatever the hell you need to do, Hold it. You're going quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. Cesar Mendez. What's up? Freak show. Just graduated the project on Friday. Quad stretch. Quad stretch. Knee. Knee. Again, hold it for a couple extra seconds. If you know you need that extra stretch there in the quad, do what you got to do. On the other side. Then hug the knee. Hug the knee. Quad. Quad. Knee, come on. Knee. Done. Shake that out. Shake that out. I'm going to take one second. Just get your stretched out on your own while I go set up the, the, the clock. Don't worry about the bell. You're going to hear it. I'll tell you when, what's going on. So you hear that sound? The bell ringing? The bell ringer. We just had a class of the project this week. 21 actually showed up. 14 made it. There were bells ringing all week long. 33% dropout rate in this class of the project, class zero, one, zero. All right, so here's how it's gonna go. On the first bell, we're actually gonna be on a bag. If you have a bag, you're gonna be on the bag. If not, you can do this in the air and you're gonna get, still burn and kill and assassinate tons of fucking fat. But if you want, you can hold two little light weights if you don't have a bag. You can hold two water bottles to get a little extra resistance. If you don't have a bag, you can mix it up. Some rounds are in the air, some on the bag, some with weights in your hands. Doesn't freaking matter, just as long as you're moving you're busting your ass, you're pushing the pace, you're not bullshitting, and you're breaking a damn sweat and, and going maximum effort with a positive freaking attitude. All right, so first bell is gonna be just ones, just your straight left. The bell rings, it's gonna go right into twos, just your straight right. And it's gonna keep switching back and forth between ones and twos every bell. So on the next bell, we're gonna start with ones. We're gonna be mixing up on the bags and the air with you. So we're gonna start with just the one on the bell. We're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. Rolling, just ones. Bell, that means twos. Straight right. Give it the foot. Turn the head. Ones. I'm going to keep switching around so I can keep this bag from moving. And you can see different angles on the camera. One. The right hand stays up. Two. So you should be able to hear that bell from the camera. Turn the hit. One. Pop. 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 See, it's not just non-stop flicking out there. These are real punches. Resetting. 
get a little pump to it, a little rhythm to it. And ones. Straight left. One is your left jab, your lead hand jab. Two. Back to the one. For a second, fucking mosquito just bit me on the shoulder while I was doing that. Anyway, we're going on kicks next. If you're on a bag, you can do roundhouse kicks. So it's going to be just left kicks for seven seconds, right kicks. So you're just here on a roundhouse. If you want, you can do front kicks on the bag. If you don't have a bag or whatever you want to mix it up, you can do front kicks in the air. Roundhouse kicks don't work too great in the freaking air. All right, we're going to go right to it. We're just going to keep rolling. We want to get that heart rate up. We want to get the sweat going. We want to kill some mother flipping fat. So left kick on the belt. Left kick. Switch to right. Back to left. That hip. Moving around, get different angles on your right kick. Just getting rolling. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> just getting the freaking heart rate going. This next one's gonna be hooks. So you'll be on just left hooks, threes. The bell rings, you'll go to fours. Take a second, stretch, hydrate. Get ready for the next round. Shake it. All right, we're going threes and fours. I gotta get my hat on. Cause this pale ass head. Oh wow, that's good. This pale head. It's our second hour in a row out here in the sun. Yeah, check out that hat. You gotta earn that fucking shit. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, I thought there were two. Huh? There's one on. I know. Here. Sorry, oh. All right. So we're back on the bags. You're going to go left hooks for seven seconds. Right hooks for seven seconds. Straight through. Listen, you have to turn the hips and pivot that foot of the side you're punching on. Think of your body swinging like a door on a hinge. Next bell, we're going in with our threes, our left hook. Threes, our left hook. Let's do it. Here it comes. Three. Shh. 
bit. Left hook. Right hand to right hook. Body's behind it. Whip your hip. To the left hook. Transition from side to side. Maintain your stance. Make it a combo when you transition from side to side if you can. You're in the middle of a punch and the bell rings. Like that. Boom. Left hook. Top of your chin, protecting your face, staying home. The background, so keep you on Instagrams. On the hip, give the feet. Fly right behind that. Boom. Left hook. That's your three. up next. It's going to be literally between left knee, so you'll be with your left leg back. Holding the target the whole time. Left knee, bell rings, you switch your stance, still holding the target. You're not releasing the target, go to right knee, then you switch. So we're kneeing with the back leg. So you're just going to switch your stance with that leg back that you're going to knee with. You hear that bell, it's just continuous, continuous ringing. It's sounding All right, let's do it. Not this bell, but the next. Next bell, left knee. We're going left knee first. Left knee. Go, hold your target. Bam. Bam. Drive the knee in. It's a flat bag like this. You got to kind of punch the knee in or bam, from around to the side. You don't want to go up. You're just going to end up skimming it. You want some uh, impact. Left. Cuts next. Fives and sixes. So remember, five is your left uppercut, six is your right uppercut. So we're switching on the bell, left uppercut for seven seconds, and then right uppercut. Even if you're just doing these in the air, you're gonna be burning a fuck ton of calories. All right, let's go. Ding. 
All right, let's go on the bell. Left uppercut, go left. Left uppercut, get that right hand up. Short choppy, full strength punch, right uppercut. Crunch it in. Tons of abs, obliques, lats, left uppercut. Elbows next. Elbows next. So it's just gonna be left elbow slashing, just like a hook. A little shorter, choppier. Hit with your elbow and your forearm. Bell rings. You go right elbow. Back and forth. You know the game by now. Seven seconds each. The seven second workout. That sounds easy. Simple. Fucking seven seconds. You can work out for seven seconds, can't you? You commit to seven. You can commit to a seven-second workout, can't you? You're not too busy for seven seconds. Quit the bullshit. Quit the excuses, and let's make this shit happen. Elbows coming up. Just stay loose in between. In between, you can see I'm doing movement. I'm stepping. I'm walking. I'm moving. I'm shaking. I'm twisting, turning. Active recovery. Keeping the blood flowing. Getting ready for that next round. All right, elbow's coming up. On the next bell, left elbow on the bell. Get your ass up, boy. Left elbow, Here's the bell, slash, bam, bam. Slice it in there, slash it, slash it. Just like a left hook, boom, boom. Either across or even downward, to the right. Into it. Transition to the other side, let it do a little mini combo. Slash it, slash it. Rushing, splitting open faces, cheekbones, eyelids. up combinations. So after a couple little seconds, shake it, stretch it, do what you got to do. This one's going to be all left-handed strikes. So it could be straights, it could be hooks, 
It could be uppers, it could be elbows. Anything on the left side, the bell rings, you go all over to the right side. Uppers, hooks, straights, elbows, any order. It could be straight hook, upper. It could be a couple hooks in a row, upper in a row. Doesn't matter the order. As long as it's upper body, left side strikes, and then right arm strikes. That's it. Just left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. Any kind of punches, any combination, mixes, just mixing it up, just pumping it on that same side for seven straight freaking seconds. <sighs> bell rings, listen. Say you're on the left side right here, bam. And that bell rings, get that last strike in, so boom, boom. So you can transition to the right, wait for the bell. One more on the right, boom. See how it's a two punch transition from left to right. So get that extra, bam. If you don't hear a bell, wait till the bell and boom, boom. So you have a, a, a flow and a transition from the left to the right, the right to the left. You're about to make it freaking happen. Let's do it. Next bell, left hand. What's that tang in the drink? Like I feel a little pop. Everyday energy. Come on, our next bell, left hand. We just sit and distract you. That's a pop, I'll show you a pop. Go, left side. Elbows, straight, hooks, ha, ha, right hand. Transition, don't forget, make those combinations. Transition from the sides, get that extra strike in. You got the flow of this. Left. Upper. Straight. Hook. Elbow. Mix it up. Right is just flow into the right. Not stopping in between. See bell rings. I get an extra right so I can flow into the left. Shit, I'm getting more work here punching the air because I'm getting faster hands, faster punches. Transition, different angles, straight, hooks, uppers, straight, elbows, upper, straight, upper. Look at that, see how it flows? Right hand. Wait, is it right up? Pumping it out, getting that slow, that transition, boom, boom, from side to side, ha. Ha, 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 boom, boom, ha, ha, right hand, I think. One more beat. Same game, came it up, came it up. Coming up. Came it up. With the lefts, or kicks, legs. So left kick, so it could be a front kick. It could be roundhouse, it could be knee. All with the left side. Bell rings, you draw lower body strikes, leg strikes with the right side. Shake it, get stretched, get ready. Couple seconds, make sure your hydrogenation is up. Speed. It's got to reset the clock. Ignore the bell, it's going to get it reset. It's set for 99 cycles of 7-7. Seven, seven. So ignore that. So we got legs, lower body strikes coming up. Alright, there's a little 
freak show. We're rolling! Alright, we're gonna get started. So you're gonna be on all lower body strikes. So it's front kicks, roundhouse kicks, knees, all at the left side. Don't raise them all the right side. Let's go, let's go on the next bell. Left leg. Left leg. So do the front kick. Do roundhouse. Mix it up. Right into the right side. Round. Knee. Knee. Keep your distance. Back to the front. Oh, Bruce Leroy over there. Left side. Transition. It's gonna be all punches. So it's gonna be one twos, the bell rings is gonna be three fours, the bell rings is gonna be five six. So just one two. Not just right now, not sprinting. We're gonna sprint later, like one twos like that. It's, it's combination. So it's just two punches at a time. One two, one two, one two. Bell rings, three four, three. See, there's a little hesitation, a little reset in between. It's a two punch combo. Not non stop sprinting. We're gonna do a little sprint, a little burnout later on. Not yet. We want this to be technical, real punches, real combos, hard fucking punches, not rushing through it. That's the way we need it to be. All right? Not this bell coming up, but the next. Legs stretched out. Let's go. One, two on the bell. One, two. Bell, three, four. Suckers! 
And then tie and break. We didn't take a break. Come on. Oh. Why don't you take your goggles on? You should put something right in Well, I just put right in school. I mean, school. Come on, sucker. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Come on, man. I didn't hit you that hard. Fucked up. The kid. <laughs> Damn! What's up with these combinations? You think I won't hit a man with glasses? I don't give a damn. Oh, no, no, no. These are new glasses. I don't give a damn. Oh, we almost got in. Oh! Huh. Huh. Oh! I timed that perfect. I saw you, you went like this. You wound up too much, and I just snuck it in and got out of the way just in time. That, that big whoop, whooping right hook of yours, overhand, it like breathed by my face as I clank. A little short left upper right, hook. I went like this. I just missed the liver. Lucky I wasn't over a little bit more to the left, to, to the center. We're in the liver, even on the floor. Right here? A little bit more. Left hook to the body, the hook to the liver. But you still caught it pretty good. Peace, <laughs> one. peace man, peace man. One. <laughs> I don't know, the judges decide. All right, pay attention. Pay attention. We're going run and punch and plank and punch. We're going to do it on the bag, you're doing the air. So it's literally run and punch, bell rings, you squat thrust down to the push up position, and you go plank and punch on your bag. Run and punch, straight punches with high knees, plank and punch at the push up position, punching the damn bag. Fast paced round, cardio round, core round, just letting the hands fly. Not so much technical with the punches, but we're just getting some work in and getting your energy level burning out here. face round and you push yourself. That's some freaking work. Alright, we're gonna be on our backs here. At the backs, I'm being a little pump. We'll start all over again. It's so lazy because you hear abs, you think it's done. Now I'm gonna add in some bonus rounds just for you being a sucker. <laughs> so it's crunch and punch in front of your bag. You sit up, two punches. Sit up, two punches on the bag. The bell rings, you drop on your back, your legs go to the side of the bag for flutter kicks. You could just do these in the air, also. Might even work better in the air, even without a bag. We're actually gonna do them in the air. Huh? <laughs> All right, let's start with flood, or crunch and punch on the bell. So you sit up, two punches. We just have a slope here, that's why I'm back, my back is to you, but I'll show you from the side, but I'm all diagonal now. And bell rings and we're going to flutter kick. Bell rings, transition right to crunch and punch. Actually works better than even on a bag. You know we're not hitting anything. Works better, flows better, so the bag's not in your way for the flutter kick, you don't have to transition your position, your position. Flutter. Crunch and punch, right away, flow. Let's grab the crunch. Still punch. Water! Punch, 
punch. One time go right, left. One time go left, right. Next time go left, left. Next time go right, right. But now we're on flutter. Pump it out. Sit up. Right, right. Up. Left, right. Up. Right, left. Flutter. Let's go. A couple more of each. Two more of each. Start with the crunch and punch. We got one more beat after this. Sit up, crunch. Sit up. Ha, ha. And last one for flooding, last one. Burn it out, burn it out. Go pin a little lower back to the floor. Suck it the hell up. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And just because this little sucker Thought we were done because we did abs. Guess what? Guess what you did? You bought them an extra round of run and punch and plank and punch. Everybody, You're welcome. Everyone say thank you, Tyson. Should be thanking for an extra round. Bonus round. It's the bonus round. It's the freaking. It's the burnout round. So it's the round we just did before this one. The run and punch. That's the high knees of the straight punches. And the plank and punch. Last round of the fucking day. Who did this? All out. Go all out. It's during a workout. All out. We got a couple more seconds. Last second little stretch. Get ready for it. I want to see some speed, some intensity. I want to feel your fucking energy through the waves of the internet. I want my Wii Fi to be blasting me in the face with all that energy you're going to be giving me through the internet. All right, not this bell, but the next. Suck it up, suck it, suck it, suck it. Um. That is I need, I need, I need. Run a punch. Sprint it. Bell, plank, spot thrust down. Pop, 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 pop. Five sets of each. Suck up, you even know how many it is. Here comes two of plank. Full speed. Burnout. Oh shit, I my wrist. Run, here's three. Pop, pop. Plank for three. Run once more. 14 seconds of each, suckers. Shows. Harry Knuckle. Fist bump. Harry Knuckle fist bump. For the Facebookers. Harry Knuckle fist bump. Fist bump. For the Instagrammers. And listen up. This just shows you what you can get done in such a short amount of time with little to no equipment. You could have done this in the air with your bare fist. And you probably would have sweat even more. And been more out of breath. And got your heart rate up. Because you can move so much faster in the air, that shit will burn you the hell out. So, don't make any excuses. You don't have time. You don't have equipment. You don't have fucking space. It's all bullshit. It's all excuses. That's why that shit's tattooed on my freaking arm. You can't even see it, but, and it's backwards on the Facebooks. But, quit with that bullshit. It's not cool. Never accept any excuses. Never make any excuses. Like, step the hell up in life, in all areas of life, not just your fitness with your family, and your business, no matter what your position is in your business, and your career, step the hell up. Take responsibility. Hold yourself accountable for everything that does or does not happen on your freaking watch. Hold yourself accountable for everything your team does or does not do. It's nothing worse than a fucking grown ass adult blaming other people, Tyson, turn off please. Blaming other people 
pointing the fingers, shouting out everyone's name except your own. Here's the thing I noticed. When, someone, when, when, when people are looking for credit who did something good, who did the right thing, who got the win, we see hands like this. We see people jumping up and down like freaking cheerleaders. Then when it comes time to own up to the fuck ups, the screw ups, the failures, we see people raising their hand like this, if they raise it at all. Or they just bullshit and look around and hope no one's gonna notice. Raise your fucking hand high in the sky, because failure is just feedback. It's a way not to do it the next time. That's all it is. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen often. I'll tell you what, if you haven't failed a shitload, you haven't done shit in your life. You haven't taken any risks, you haven't made any bold moves, you've made no progress, because no, no, no level of suffering, or, 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 or of success, of victory, of winning, ever comes, or money, ever comes without a significant level of suffering, pain, sacrifice, hardship, and motherfucking failure. Failure is feedback of something to check off the list to not try the next time. And you just keep looping that around. Try something else out, take action, get feedback, knowledge, experience, try it again. Try, fail. Experience, knowledge. Try again with that new experience, knowledge. Fail. Keep looping around so motherfucker you succeed. So you take all that knowledge and experience and turn it into massive success and fucking domination. That's what it's about. Operating to dominate. And listen, we've talked about the project. That's what the project is about. Learning how to operate to dominate. If you want information, you want to talk about the project, see if you would be a good fit to join the MDK Brotherhood, the Modern Day Night Brotherhood, send me a message. We'll see if you're a good fit for the program. The next class is in November which is already sold out. It's a $12,000 program that's sold out three months in advance. It's been sold out for November for a month already. So the next class after that that are available are February and April. So if you want in on either one of those classes, if you, it's for men only, held here in Southern California, the highest level, the most highly immersive level of personal development you could possibly have for men in this world. It doesn't get any higher level than this for personal development, for putting you in the trenches. Because it's easy to go read about shit, talk about shit, post on the internet about shit, but actually to go and in the trenches, real world, to demonstrate it, practice it, do it, try it, show it with your fucking action. That's what the project is about. Actually getting there in the trenches, knowing when to lead, knowing when to follow, working on leadership, teamwork, communication, problem solving, critical thinking. So you can become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better business owner, manager, CEO, entrepreneur, an even better fucking man. That's what the project is about. If the project isn't for you or you want to get started on something sooner or more individualized, let's talk about OTD. That's Operate to Dominate, Peak Performance, Coaching, one-on-one -on -one with me and you. We, would, we, we have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program done remotely or in person if you're here in Southern California. It's the highest level of one-on-one -on -one coaching you could possibly get that we offer. It's to operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business. That's what it's about. So you could have more discipline, energy, confidence, be an action taker, and finally live the life you want to gain personal freedom, be more productive, have more structure, control of your fucking life. That's what it's about. Be more productive means getting more done in less amount of time so you can create more time to do the shit that you really want to do. That's what it's all about. That's how you operate to dominate. That's how you have personal freedom, and it starts with setting boundaries. So let's talk about it if you want some help with private coaching, one-on-one, -on -one, or the in-person men's group program the project send me a private message let's talk about we'll jump on the phone and we'll see what works best for you i gotta roll i will talk to you later hell yeah nice work last final hairy knuckle fist bump for the workout in case no one told you yet today you are fucking awesome no excuses freak show what you got for him no excuses very 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 normal child i can't imagine we gets from we gotta roll we gotta get our post-workout recovery after two and a half hours here in the blazing sun in beautiful Southern California. We will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.